I have a question for you. How are you sleeping these days? Do you sleep eight hours a night all the way through, uninterrupted? Well, if so, fantastic. That That's uh, great. But, uh, but I'll tell you, there's a lot of people who don't get enough sleep, and it affects their ability to function well during the day uh, and, and to be all they can be in service to God with their lives. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson from St. John's United Church of Christ in Orwigsburg, PA, with my weekly devotion. It's good to be with you. If you're one of these people, you know what you know what it's like to uh, start the day with a sleep deficit. In other words, you've got the whole day ahead of you, and you're already exhausted. Uh, I've struggled with this myself from time to time. Uh, for me, the problem has to do with waking up too early, with the mind ruminating about something that happened the evening before, and the thoughts. Uh, that run through your mind at 2 a.m. are, for some reason, rarely happy thoughts. The mind seems to want to go to the uh, the most challenging and difficult things and the worst possible interpretations of everything, especially at that time. But there is hope, my friends. <laughs> Listen to these words from the Apostle Paul from... Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you've learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I read about a woman who uh, who struggles with uh, nighttime negative thoughts that keep her awake. And here's what she has come to do about it. Number one, remember the good things that happened the past day. Remember them. There are always many, many good things. Number two, in her mind, she lists the things she accomplished the past day, no matter how trivial they might be, the good things. She recites, this is number three, a short list of comforting Bible passages. Surely you know a few. When all else fails, she eats a banana, drinks some water, and goes back to to bed and begins the three steps again. The point here is that positive thoughts can drive out the negative. And as Paul writes, the God of peace will be with you. Do this, friends. Do it. Let's all of us do this who struggle with, excuse me, insomnia. See if it doesn't help you start each day in a better frame of mind. And if you didn't catch those steps, go back and watch this again and write it down. Let's pray. Dear God, help us to be able to sleep better at night, to think good thoughts, (coughs) especially about our love for you. Amen. Well, this is Pastor Jeff. I hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll see you Sunday, perhaps, at 10 a.m. at St. John's United Church of Christ. And keep looking up.